Now today, hopefully, we are getting the conformal coating. I believe that's what this is. I could be wrong. I got one can of acrylic conformal coating and one can of silicon conformal coating. Yep, here they are. Uh, so, what I'm planning on doing for this test is to coat two, uh, well, I'll coat one board, and we're going to take and do a test and show which one. It's better for like outdoor exposure for like moisture. What this is here is a UV black light, and this will show where this is put on the circuit board. So the reason most people use acrylic is because one is cheaper and two it dries faster versus a silicon. So I'm gonna go find a circuit board that I can use to spray this on. I don't know the forecast at the moment. Let me see when it's gonna rain next. I may just have to take and use this a squirt bottle and spray the circuit board to simulate the rainwater and moisture and whatnot. And we're gonna spray this onto the board what I may do is do it in sections. So one's got the acrylic, one has the silicon, and the other one doesn't have anything. It's just a bare circuit board. So I may have to take and get a rather large circuit board for this test. It's just, I might have some power supply boards and whatnot from televisions so that will work. So. We will give it a go. Let's see what happens next. What I plan on doing is using this circuit board here as hell of a television. And I'll just spray and I'll spray and I'll, I won't spray. And we will compare one versus the other. And I'll just take and spray it down with water. And just let it sit there. And I'll just keep doing this. And this, this will be a several day adventure here. Um, I will try to get all the dust off before I do any conformal coat spraying. That way everything is adhered properly and we won't have anything contaminants causing any issues. So this is going to be our test study here. I'll do sections, some that will the one that will, one don't, and one that will. I'll take a piece of cardboard or something. I'll just, I'll just do it like this. I'll just spray this right here, and then flip it around. Have this on the inside, and I'll just spray this right here, and the centerpiece will be not coated. So we'll have a little bit of everything. I'll just use the same box. And I'll actually record the process of this spraying on there. I can do this outside because it is not something you want to breathe in. It's toxic. You can see all the danger signs. Alright, let's get to it. I'm going to spray from this direction so nothing backfills. Um, I guess I could take and move some of the sand, but I'm not really concerned. But I do want to make sure that nothing comes this way when I do spray the areas. And I'm just going to spray it like you would do paint. I think I am.
All right. I'm gonna be the first coat. I'll put two coats and let it dry. Just touched the circuit board here and just left some stringies on my thumb here. Um, it's been about six to eight minutes and it still hasn't dry. I'm gonna wait a little bit more and let it dry and then I'll spray my next coat. You can already see the color difference between where it's been coated and it's not. And here I'm gonna do the second coat. And that should be it for this. And here's the second coat for the acrylic spray. All right, so this is what the silicon looks like. Very much similar to same as far as aerosol. Different smell. Okay, we'll let this dry for a while and then we'll do a second coat. Here's the second layer for the silicon, silicone, however you want to say it. Um, it's going to be windy here for a second. I'm going to let the wind dry down. Should be good to go, I think. Alright, so I'm going to let it dry and then we'll shine the UV light on this and show what it looks like under that. Kind of neat to show you. Okay, so getting inside the house and you can see there's more coating. This is thicker than the silicon, the uh, acrylic is. This is the acrylic side, this is the silicon side. The ones I've used in the past kind of gooped up and gummed up. I never had anything thin like this before. So let's do the UV test. So you're going to see, this is shows purple, this is white, and this is white. I'm going to turn all the lights off, and now you'll definitely see where the light is, where uh, the conformal coating is. Where there's a solid white on both sides, that means it has conformal coating on it. So using the UV LED, you can take and see where, you can see the splatter is over here. You can see how everything looks and do that in, in inspections and stuff. You can see this is white now. Well, that's because I sprayed it on there and whatnot. And there is some overspray here in the center. I can see this very faintly. And if I were to judge between the two as far as coating, um, This looks thicker, but it's not as uniform. But that could be me. And this is more uniform, but it's gonna be, I feel like it's gonna be a lot thinner. Now I can take, you know, we'll take and just do a scratch test. Just a toothpick, it's a wooden toothpick. I'm gonna do a scratch test. Let's see if I got anything in my hand at all. Good. And we'll see how thick it is and I'll kind of shine it over here you can see what I'm doing it wasn't very hard for force and that's how easy that scratches up let's see how easy this scratches up I'm gonna do the same force and see how this works I'm not saying that it's any better it is better it does scratch still some, but I have to put more force into it. So, this has better resistance than this. This will scratch really easy. And I'm, again, doing on this, the thing. Let's see how this does. Just two thumbs, a thumb and a finger. I'm just going back and forth. And it still has more resistance. I still haven't gotten to the board yet. Okay, now I'm getting to the board. 
So you can see the silicon is better than the acrylic. The acrylic will scratch off much easier than the silicon will. You can see that conformal coating has got on my hand here. I'll just pour that off. Now it's on this finger. Cool. So I wanted to show that much and show you scratch test. This wins. This doesn't. Maybe more expensive to use this from a manufacturer. But if you want your product to last longer, I would go with uh, conformal coating made from silicon versus acrylic. Now I'm going to take it back outside and we're going to spray it with water. And then we're going to do this test. And I'll do a little segment, 10 second segment, and we'll do every day um, how it looks, if there's any rust. There's going to be rust here. I can guarantee you that. We can do connectors. Um, basically, just parts on the board and see how they interact. And maybe holes. So see, there's a hole here. We have a hole here. We'll see how the holes work out. All right, let's have some fun. Okay, so today's April first, and we're gonna do. This is just a water bottle, and we're gonna do raindrops on a water bottle. From this is what it looks like. So you can see the water's beaded up, and we'll do this every day. We'll spray this every day. We'll show you benefits and all that. This should be good because this is, should be coated, I believe. Um, we'll show the inside of that and how that works and whatnot. Uh, we'll just get some up here for these connectors. That should be good. So, tomorrow I will update this video and we'll do this for five days straight and see what it looks like. This is sad overnight, and it's a cool 40 degrees right now. And we're gonna do another coat of the water treatment and see how it goes. And you can see most of the water has evaporated from what I have sprayed on. There we go. And after we do this water test, we will take, and I got some gravel and sand, and I'll just take and drop it and pour it right on top of this, and it'll be a kind of an abrasion test and see how that works. What you're seeing here is the uh, tail ends of a gold panning video that I did. And this is all the stuff. This is actually gravel and uh, bedrock from uh, Alaska. Now let this sit overnight. It's been completely soaked. You can see in the mud water and all that, completely soaked. Um, I'll let this soak overnight. And it's very sharp and rigid and all this. And we're just gonna cover the board as much as possible. Most of it's just rocks. There's, there's a stick. I made sure that it cover up all the components and whatnot and we're going to do that right now and we'll see how this turns out these are mostly finer rocks and bedrock this will be interesting uh, see how this works pack it all and then once this is done, I'm going to fill this big container up here and I'm just going to shake it and wash it off. And that shouldn't, that shouldn't help me accelerate any problems due to rocks and moisture and grit and sand and all that. And hopefully tomorrow, the next section here, when I update it, we'll get somewhere. And if we don't, we'll just let it dry and do its thing. Okay, so off it goes into complete submersion. So 
So I left it soak for about three hours. Then what I'm gonna do now is take and uh, agitate it. And we'll get all the stuff loose that's sitting on top of it. And just agitate it and put it back in water. So I may just put it on top here and let it dry out overnight. Just like this, that's all I'm gonna do. the crap out of it now you can see the acrylic has already started peeling back you know I scratched there but the acrylic has started peeling back here uh, the silicon has not now let's get more of this mud off on the one side So, I can almost tell you right there that this is far superior than the, the acrylic is because that has came off with no problem. Um, and I'm just peeling this back with my finger. There's some, yeah. Whereas the silicon, I'm gonna go on the edge here where they're would be, yeah, it's not. And the acrylic, yeah, I just had more flake. You can see this flaking up right here. Let's do the same test with my finger. And the silicon, it's not doing that. So you can be the judge already and see which is superior, which isn't. And by far right now, the silicon is winning. We'll let it sit overnight and see how everything works in the morning. I think I'm already done with this test. Inside this bucket is something very corrosive to electronics. Salt. Now what I'm gonna do is take and scoop some of this salt. And I'm just gonna pack it and I'm gonna spray it down so it's wet. Sea water or salt water is very corrosive to electronics, and this would be, I believe, the ultimate test. So I'm just going to make a layer just like this. And we'll spread it all about. And just like that. And then I'm going to just spray this down so it's wet. And we'll let this stay overnight. I may have to spray it down some more um, water than what I'm applying. And we'll let it stay overnight. And then I'll do another pre-rinse with this murky brown water. Probably allow it to dry overnight. And not overnight, but during the day, tomorrow in the sunlight. And then, here, I'll just take the scoop out of this good old Alaskan water, and we'll just do it like this. Now this is ice melt, so it probably has some other stuff than just salt. This should be pretty corrosive. And I already see some of it melting away, solidifying. I think this would be a heck of a test to do. We'll see, ultimately. So we've let this dry. And you still see some salt particle here. And I may have to rinse that off. And this is the silicon side. That's what it looks like. Let's do 
show some salt inside there. That's what that is, is salt. This is the non-coated side in the center. So you can see there's, the rest is starting to already form. You can see the traces here. And then nicked. You can see that none of the traces over there have been nicked at all. And then we're going to go over here to the acrylic side. Where you see some of it has eroded. And now in sections, it's starting to peel up. So I'm gonna let this sit for another day or two. And we're going to just see what happens. That's actually that's a coil, I believe it is. It's a coil. That's why you see the top of that. That's just a coil. And it's still solid. Let's do the UV test and see how it looks. Over here to this side first. You can see where I had scratched before. You can see some scratches, like right in that area from the rocks. When I shook it, obviously there's not going to be anything but over splatter in here. You can see where this has peeled back. And it's starting to peel up all together. Three hours later from the last section of the video and a lot here more is starting to bubble out and nothing really on the opposite side still pretty rock solid so what i'm going to do is take i'm just going to use my fingernail and i'm going to just scratch this see how that looks it turned out pretty good i'll do the same over here on a flat spot It looks pretty much the same. So that divided line, I'm gonna also just go like this, to scratch. Now there is some marks here, but that's from the overspray. That's very thinly applied. You can see there's some, this is kind of white here and that does the same. But as far as the markings on the board, it doesn't travel well. You do the acrylic side if you were to do this on a piece in the corner here. There, there's the chunk that just, it just goes in flakes. All that just flaked up. Just like that. Nothing. So I think you can probably um, end this video here. Which is far superior. This is the silicon and not the acrylic.
any kind of moisture or anything that gets underneath it. And it's compromised. It's gone. And that's how easy it is. And I can sit here all day and I can... You can see scratch marks where I'm leaving it. I'm having to dig really hard. So, you see, that's just scuffed it up. It's still protected. We'll put it underneath the light. It's still protected. Okay, now I got in. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video it was entertaining to me i finally got the chance to do this um please consider subscribing i'll see you next time